What's up guys, I'm Tom. Welcome back to my channel. Well, spring is here. You can see that sunlight out and uh, the weather is warming up and I'm starting to book more and more jobs and it is time for a spring cleaning on the office here. You can see this thing is pretty dirty. You know, it sits outside so the winter is not kind. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna wash it. We're gonna do a light polish. We're actually also gonna polish the aluminum because that's actually not as shiny as it used to be. And I'll bring you guys over to this side. And this fender always winds up having leaves land on it and stick to it and sit on it. So it's kind of stained, so we're gonna remove that. So after we get this thing all nice and cleaned up, I'll actually take you guys inside it and let you see the layout. I've actually put quite a bit of thought into how I have the inside done to kind of keep me efficient as I'm moving around doing cars. So let's get this trailer pulled into the driveway. That way I'm not cleaning it in the dirt and let's get started. to bring you guys in or see what this aluminum looks like after being washed it's actually pretty terrible um, but that's what happens when leaves sit on it is the leaves are acidic and it just kind of eats into it but uh, you can see the front part of this is looking way better so I am going to polish this top for you guys and then I'll bring you in after and try and get the same view so you can see the difference. So I'm using Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish and I'm putting it on a yellow Rupes pad that has seen better days and is not gonna be polishing paint anymore. So I don't care if it get, gets ruined. We'll just uh, toss it out after this. So you can see this thing's black from doing this front part already. I'm um, putting a liberal amount of polish on there. That way it doesn't dry out and I can keep working it for a while. I just wanted to explain a little bit what I'm doing here. I'm actually going in rows with these, the diamond plating so I can get the pad a little closer to in those grooves and polish a little closer. You can see, even after blowing this thing off, this th this stuff is staining this pad pretty badly. So this pad will be going on the bottom of the pile now. And you know what? If I need to go after a dirty piece of trim or aluminum or something, I'll bust this out instead of ruining one of my good pads that can go on paint still. And uh, all right, let's wipe this off and see what we got. And uh, you can see, you know, it's by no means perfect, but the amount of improvement is pretty dramatic. And from a few feet away, this thing is gonna look nice and shiny again. All right, so I am gonna keep cracking at this trailer. And before I know it, it's gonna be time to polish that paint up. All right, so we finished polishing the diamond plate. It's looking much better. And now it's time to actually polish all the paint on the trailer. 
We're going to be using the 21 for most of this because all we have is big flat panels. So I'm go also going to just use the Victory Nano Polish and Seal, which is an all-in-one. So I'm just going to polish it, and when I buff it off, it'll leave protection on there. And uh, hopefully I can make it around this trailer in a decent amount of time, although I'm not holding up too much hope to finish in this in one day. So um, let's get to polishing. So one of the other nice benefits of using that big machine is you get a big section done at a time. So um, this might actually take less time than I thought. All right, well, just spent most of the weekend polishing up the trailer, getting this thing ready for business. Check out that shine. This thing is looking beautiful. It was definitely time for spring cleaning at the office. Now this thing is ready to rock and roll. Look at that reflection. That's all around the whole thing too. Thing is looking awesome. So it was not just the outside that got the spring cleaning either. Got the inside all done too. Take it around the back. And this thing is all nice and neat, ready to go. The inside actually wasn't that difficult because I keep this thing super neat to begin with. So I just pulled everything out and swept the floor and straightened it out. But it is much easier to get in here without these buckets and the vacuum. So that's actually part of my intended setup though. It was one of the first things I do when I get to a job is actually pull the vacuum and the buckets out. And then that gives me access to everything else. Oh, there we go. And uh, basically I have it set up so the things that I use the most are relatively easily accessible. Now, starting from the outside, we got the Ryobi pressure washer. We got the short gun back there and then in here I keep my foam cannon some soap and then all kinds of brushes for wheel wells wheels and then interior brushes as well and then of course we got the little Honda generator in case we need some electric and of course we got the ladders hanging on the wall keep them from being underfoot oh another uh, double duty for these clamps here I actually bolted this panel to the door of the trailer so now I can use that to hang my floor mats and scrub my floor mats on here that way I'm not kneeling down on the ground and doing it and then I actually keep all my polishes and everything in a separate bag and then we got the hybrid nano down there which that has all its own pads and everything in there we got the steam machine back there we got another spotlight we got this ultra quiet compressor, which I love. Um, and then again, we got the drawers. We got some nice paint touching towels in there. We got my interior towels. And then moving down, we got some junk towels and some junk pads in case I need to wipe anything off. Also got my synthetic clay mitts in there and a heat gun if we ever need it. And then down here, this one is kind of the junk drawer. So I got a little polishing ball to put on my drill if I need it. But then once you start getting down a little lower, hit an extra wash mitt down there. We got a sanding block, steel wool, metal polish. Um, and then also on that side, there's a whole bunch of uh, sandpaper for wet sanding. 
I think I have a seal kit in there for uh, the pressure washer in case I ever need it. And there we have all our liquid chemicals, spray bottles, we got leather conditioner in there, leather cleaner, all purpose cleaner, degreasers, and then we actually have the bin underneath. Um, we have all my bulk products and, and gallon bottles, all my dilutable stuff, so I always have a ton of that with me. And then we have, I call it the correction cart. So we got the machines in the top, and then just as many pads as you could think. And we got nice paint touching towels down there. And then I got a whole bunch of extension cords and some lights down there. And then I also have the ramps under there. So if I'm doing an all day paint correction, I can actually pull the whole card out and get to work. And of course, some detail brushes and uh, hiding behind here. We actually have a little charger for the Ryobi batteries, which mostly what I use it for is my, uh, my work light. I love that thing. Never know when you might need it for a drill too though. Yeah, so I am very happy with this setup. It works very efficiently. I can get at everything I need to get to very easily and quickly. I'm not wasting a lot of time moving stuff around to get to other things which I think is crucial while you're working. And um, yeah, so I love seeing the look on the customer's face when I pull up with this beautiful shiny trailer. I mean, this thing is extremely reflective. Um, and then again, when they're standing there talking to me for the first time and I open up the trailer, you know, and they see how nice and neat it is in here. It really just kind of instills some confidence in that I'm doing the right thing and that my attention to detail is going to be there. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the look into my office, followed along with the spring cleaning, and uh, I'm happy. This thing's ready to go. I'm actually going to be doing a ceramic coating on a 2019 BMW this coming weekend. And I'm excited to pull into there with this thing and uh, really impress this customer because that's what it's all about. As always, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.